Smell it. Come on, can I smell me? He did smell incredible. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be watching Angel Season 1, Episode 5. This next episode is called, give me a sec, RM W slash A V U. What? <laughs> what kind of goddamn title is this? What is this? Run with a view. Motherfucker, is that supposed to be room with a view? Is that it? I don't. Look, what? I. Huh? I don't understand this. Last episode was called I Fall to Pieces, which was literally literal. Like, the episode was about a guy who can fall to pieces, and then this next episode is titled Gibberish? Or is it actually room with a view? Because if it is, I'm gonna make the prediction that's gonna be a room that has a view in it. Like, well, I'm not gonna go into some insane prediction about it. Because last time I fell flat on my face. I had all these cool ideas and then it was just a random dude who can unattach its body parts. So, yeah, it's a room with a view and I... Fine, you know what? Because now I'm saying it, I'm thinking, is this gonna be a rear window type situation? Like, I'm thinking that maybe Doyle, Cordelia, or... You know what? I still am kind of unsure about how vampires can get hurt on this show, or like in this Buffy universe, because last time Angel was, you know, poisoned and it worked on him and he has also been slashed before and he got, you know, hurt, so... If it's possible, then my guess would be that Angel breaks his leg and he's stuck inside the office and he's looking out the window and he's gonna see someone get murdered and then people are gonna think he's crazy. And in the end it turns out it was a monster and Angel was right all along. But I mean this only works if the gibberish title is supposed to be standing for Room with a View. If it's something else then I have no idea. I guess we'll see. I feel like we're too early into Angel for me to like really predict anything because we haven't really had anything big happen like the first episode was kind of big and then we had Spike show up but since then not much has happened we did see Kate again so it would be cool if we see her again like I don't know if they're gonna make her more of a regular character or she's just gonna be in the episodes very rarely so yeah if you guys are interested the full length reaction for this is gonna be linked down below let's just jump straight into it they leak and break and end up costing us more <laughs> Okay, she just threw it on the floor. Yeah, it was a great audition. I was all about things leaking. How could they not pick me? Oh, I see. They don't know what they Aww. missed. Spend one night away from the place. Oh, is he offering? Maybe call. Mm, I see. Well, stranger things have happened. <laughs> have they? No, wait. They really haven't. <laughs> it's like wrestling a tiger just to get to know her. Angel Tell gives zero fucks. Oh, she's a... Uh, I think she's one of Cordelia's group. <laughs> group? People called them the Cordettes. Bunch of girls. One hell of a come down. Yeah. But she's doing all right. Oh God, is she actually doing all right? You know when a character says something and you- Ouch! Damn it! Go to the other one and that's what's happening to her. She's not doing all right. I mean, it is a huge transition from being super rich to like having no money. For the first time in your life. <gasps> oh, that is so disgusting. Oh god. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, well, I wasn't even thirsty anyway. It's fine. I thought you were gonna have the exterminator in here today. Well, if he had, don't you think that would be <gasps> oh, oh, my god. Oh. okay, that's it? I thought it might be some mystical cockroaches, like supernatural ones like cockroach demon you know like the Hello, Doyle. wait what is this the episode cordelia is finally gonna find out about doyle i have your money right over here oh okay is cordelia gonna show up oh my goodness oh no 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 you made him angry oh my god angel oh. it's so terrible Oh my gosh. No way. Don't Are either. they gonna move okay. in together? I am such a mess. Not that you were the last resort, it's just that I had nowhere else left to go. So Roaches. he's the last resort. <laughs> Actually, smell. Smell me. I never smell. I didn't know I could. Smell me. I'm just gonna have to stay. Let me have the bed. Whatever you feel good about. 
Also, my suitcase is still out in the hall. Your shower's in here. I do love that like Angelus is like the most dangerous vampire ever. And then Angel is just like, I, I can't even say no to Cordelia. He's just like bumbling. But no, handsome brooding vampire guy has to swoop in all sensitive mouth and overhanging forehead. How about leaving some scraps for the homely looking fellas who don't turn <laughs> evil when they get some? At some point in recent history, you got peanut butter on the bed. I don't eat. Well then, I don't even want to know how it got there. <laughs> I don't want to know what you're into, sexually, I mean. Jeez, I only hope the guy has a favor to you. Yikes. Maybe next time I won't bother. I mean, Doyle, if you weren't lying to her, maybe she wouldn't give out your address to randos. Hey, your high school diploma's all burned. Yeah, there was a yeah, small fire. Yeah, it was a rough ceremony. <laughs> Can't tell anything from the hallway. Ah. Hey, you're right. Yeah, the hallway was much nicer. It's the first rule of the great leader. Uh, you can go to the meetings if you want. Every morning at five. Okay, okay cool, thank you. That's just for a touch sure. too early for me. Oh, you'll be up. The chanting starts at four. So, uh... Oh my God. You're a single gal? Gonna be living here alone? Cause I'm right across the hall and you can sleep easy knowing I'm the only other soul in the world with a key to that door. Oh yeah, I'm definitely sleeping easy. You think easy. about that while you look, okay? Oh god, you. Disgusting. No, run, 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 run. Is he smelling something? No, he's just thinking. Oh, this is like... I'm thinking. Face. Why did I think of like with the drawer that he could do like a Cinderella thing where he's like looking around the town for demons whose horn matches the holes in the drawer? Yeah, she'll take it. I'll fill out the rental forms. No, I don't trust. No, but it's still to be true. I hire someone to take out that wall. It's probably bad. I take care of your problem. Angel takes care of mine. All in all, things are pretty sweet. <sighs> yeah, let's I cut back to Ain. What is that? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I need a second to calm down and you're gonna come back to this moment. So now Doyle gets dead. A message for the others. And your boss never gets his money. Exactly. The expensive message when you yeah. add whatever he's paying you to do it's the stupid. job. On the other hand, you're making me want to fight some more. You get lucky, you might last ten minutes. Really lucky and you're unconscious for the last five. I love him. I love how badass he is. And then with Cordelia, he's just like, it, I, I don't like confrontation. <laughs> it's just such a funny, like the duality of this man. <laughs> is it a ghost? Is it Darcy? Marcy. One of those. Is she back? You're doing here. You never should have come. I'm sorry. Is she levitating? This was too good to be true. I just knew it. I'm from Sunnydale, you're not scaring me, you know! Nothing bad here. Oh god, oh god, no, no, no. <gasps> Hi, lady. How you doing? How you feeling this bright, shiny morning? Did you have a good night's sleep? What else you got? Amelia, <laughs> you in there? Cactus. Angel is just standing outside. How did he get there? I didn't even have a place then. These rules are getting all screwed up. Oh my God, don't touch that. I'm just closing these so our boss doesn't burst into flames. That's all right with you. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. It's about it. Hey, thanks for the cactus. I can't believe you can afford this. <laughs> Why doesn't you tell them? Like, couldn't they help? Come on. Oh. Yucky, yucky. I am not giving up this apartment. It's haunted. It's rent control. Cordy, it says die. Hey, maybe it's not done yet. Maybe it's die yet. That's friendly, a little judgmental, sure. <laughs> I'm not giving it up. You haven't won a thing. I'll die before I give up this apartment. <laughs> I think that's a point, All honey. right, dear. If that's what you think is best. <laughs> it's like I'm still getting punished. For what? For everything that I said in high school, just because I could get away with it. And then it all ended and I had to pay. I don't know, it's not a violent death. I mean, ghosts are usually- It's her, I know it. The place has that weird little lady smile, like- She was 57, that's not old. 
get what you need. Something more must have happened to her, right? For her to be stuck here. It can't be just a heart attack. Like maybe she was murdered and they didn't realize and that's why she's here or... Cordelia, I'm in the bedroom. Why am I not trusting this at all? You got my call. <gasps> Bad you wouldn't leave my son alone. What the heck is your son? Your son? I wish you'd be more help. It's okay, Kate? just knowing things hey, didn't Kate. happen. He thought the death was suspicious. The Emmy called it a heart attack, but it seems like there were problems with the son. He was <gasps> there. What? <laughs> Margot Dresner, 1959. He's so close to her. And Jenny Kim. So she's killing the women, right? Like the ones who could have been her son's fiance. Bro, we just stay out of your child's life. Like, they can do whatever they want. What? Angel Investigations, we hope you're helpless. Hope you're helpless? It's me. Put Cordelia on. We hope What's you're right helpless. Here? My name is Cordelia. Oh, that's the name of a cheap, small-town tramp trying to sound better than she is. You're not good enough for my boy. You don't deserve anything. Yo, screw you, lady. She has friends. We were right about the ghost to see old woman, Mrs. Pierce. You've never been calm. You've never been smart. You're a user. You're nothing. Everyone would be. Finally, Jesus Christ, guys, you were really taking your sweetest time. Care about you. They want you to fail. They know you're a tarted up little Loyal champ. With no money. Yeah, Cordelia Chase, are you just gonna lie there like a weakling? Get off your ass and talk. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, but the way he just got hit in the head with the book, that doesn't seem like that was scripted. Nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? I'm surprised that my son didn't smell the stench of poverty and failure on you. I can. Shut the fuck I'm up. Sorry. You better be sorry. Take off the bed sheets. Make a noose. Go on. Oh yeah, Cordelia, It'll smack her ass. Soon. I know your hand would go through her, but just do it. I'm not a sniveling, whiny little cry buffy. <laughs> cry buffy. I'm the nastiest. Well, get ready to haul your wrinkly, translucent ass out of this place, cause lady, the bitch is back. Hell to the yeah. Cordelia is the baddest bitch of them all, and you do not mess with her. Get the hell out of my house! Let's go, Cordelia. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Oh, Angel just broke that dude's neck. Yeah, well, she pissed me off. <laughs> well, maybe you found her center. Cordy, what's wrong? I, I, what do you mean, what's wrong? I think she's being possessed. Or maybe she just really want to get rid of that wall. <gasps> Wait. Wait, who the hell was that? Because they found her. Bro, did she kill her son? Mom, stop it. Mom, don't do this, please. She this killed her own son. That is... Mom, I can't breathe. So Let fucked up. Please, Mom, I'll be good. I won't leave you. I promise. Mom, please! Bro. So what happened to her? Did she actually die of a heart attack? <gasps> That's what you deserve, bitch. I will call you old. You old hag. You killed your own son. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? You're gonna be upset about it now? Dennis, I presume. I'm sorry. Like that wall. <laughs> Wait, so was Cordelia possessed by Dennis or what was happening at the end? Yeah, I have a roommate, but it's cool. I never see him. Hey, hey, Phantom Dennis, put that back. <laughs> Wait, the Dennis is here? Still here? All in all, it's working out great. No. Well, she never did have any taste. <laughs> 
she's so nasty. <laughs> oh, so funny. All right, so that was episode five. A pretty enjoyable episode. Again, not my favorite so far. It still had some really fun moments, and I loved Cordelia and her storyline and her, you know, starting to find her footing and all of that. Like. I think there's a lot of depth to her in this show and I'm really loving it. Like I love that she was saying all of this stuff that like she thinks she's being punished because she used to be like a mean person and she was, you know, kind of a bitch in high school. But you know, like she's an adult now, like what you were like as a teenager doesn't have to defy who you are as an adult and I'm glad that Cordelia is growing from it and I think she was already growing from it before as well but I think losing all their money is what made her, you know, want to become an even better person or why she's trying to, you know, do the right thing now. So I'm really enjoying this journey for her from going from like the mean, popular high school student to like this badass, can take care of herself woman who's there to help other people as well. I think it's gonna be like a really nice journey for her so I'm really looking forward to seeing where she's gonna end up in the show a season or two or three from now like I think it's gonna be glorious but yeah the storyline with the ghost and her son was so insane like the fact that she killed her own son in such a brutal way as well like you don't even die straight away you're literally trapped inside there until you suffocate and I think that can take hours as well like I guess depends on how big the spaces but that was bro this lady deserved the worst like she was horrible like how are you just gonna murder your son because he's happy and is about to get married bro that's like what you want right like you want your kid to be happy not that you tie them to yourself <sighs> bro that was actually really heartbreaking. Like, I loved the twist. Like, that was so well done. I didn't expect it. I thought that the mom was killed, but I was thinking maybe the twist would be that the fiance killed her, and that's why she was, you know, killing the women who were moving into the apartment. So I was like, okay, maybe that's gonna be the twist, but I did not expect her to be a full blown psychopath. But I guess here we are. Oh my goodness. That's. I feel like. I think I've said this before, but I do feel like Angel is a little bit of a darker show from Buffy. Or at least it is at the moment. Like, maybe Buffy will get darker as well now that they're out of high school. And, you know, now they're also adults. Because, like, everybody's an adult on this show. But now on Buffy as well. But maybe they just don't want to make a change too quickly from how they used to be. Like, how the show used to be. So I don't know if Buffy's gonna get darker at some point. But I feel like Angel at the moment is so much darker. Like, I think... Some of the storylines have been like really crazy and really scary. Like even the last one, like it was a bit goofy <laughs> because the dude was falling to pieces, but it was still like such a scary situation. Like especially like if you're watching that as a woman because you're like, yeah, I think that's all of our biggest fears of being stalked by a guy that you smiled at once and then they won't end up killing you. So yeah, I think the stories are very real in a sense because I feel like a lot of Buffy's stories can be more fictional I guess like for example if I'm thinking back the one with Kathy like you know she was a monster and she just wanted to get out of wherever they were living in so that she could go to school like yeah there were dramatic moments but I don't think it was as real as like a mom killing her son you know what I mean like I feel like there's like a little bit of a difference between the two shows and Angel is a little bit more realistic in a way and more scary which I do enjoy like I enjoy that there's a difference between the two shows like a pretty big difference so it doesn't feel like I'm actually watching Buffy just like with different characters which is a really good job like it's really impressive that you can make a show set in the same universe but just make it so different the one thing I'm wondering about at the whole end situation where Cordelia started breaking down the wall her eyes went like glossy like they were like white kind of so I thought she was possessed, but why would the mom possess her and make her break the wall down where her son is? Like, I don't think she would have wanted that to get out. But then if she was possessed by Dennis, like, how come he wasn't possessing her before that? Or how come he wasn't doing something about 
his mom before that because I mean as a ghost you can walk through things so like how come his ghost was also trapped inside the walls like couldn't he have been able to come out afterwards like I'm not sure how that worked so I kind of wonder what happened there but it's not a big deal like it, it's fine but it's just funny that Cordelia wanted to break that wall down and there was actually a person dead inside there so fun also is Dennis gonna be part of the show now like if we're ever in Cordelia's apartment, are we gonna see him move stuff around or something? Like, that's kind of hilarious that he stayed there. Like, I assumed that he would have gone into the light or wherever after he killed his mom. So like, I don't know why he's still hanging around with Cordelia, but I also think their dynamic is so funny. Cordelia really is like, don't do that. And don't do that. And he's just listening to her. Like, that's actually kind of cute. So. Yeah, if they do keep him in, that would be kind of funny and could be a source of some good comedy. The other thing I'm kind of wondering about is Angel just killed that demon guy. Like, I get that they're demons, right? But technically Angel's a demon as well and so is Doyle, at least half of him. And I feel like on Buffy, besides that demon who had the books of Ascension, all of the other demons, like, were non-verbal, they were there to kill people and do all that. Like, they were just typical monsters, right? Like the monsters that you would think about. Like they come, they just want to kill and they don't want to do anything else. So you have to stop them. But here an Angel, like that guy was, you know, talking and probably had a life and was doing business. And yeah, he was obviously there to kill Doyle. But shouldn't it feel different for them to kill them? Like, shouldn't that give Angel a bit of a pause to actually kill him? Like I know he's a demon, but he has a life. And he has things to do so it feels different to me that he just killed him without remorse like yeah i get that we can't really send them to jail but i don't know it just it feels meaner you know what i mean it just feels like are you sure you should be doing because now i'm kind of thinking of angel as a killer even though he definitely has killed people before but not as angel he killed people as angelus so it's just like is he okay? Like, should he be doing that? I, I don't know. It, it feels different to me to kill that guy, that demon, than it feels when Buffy killed some monsters. Like, I never felt like this about the death on Buffy except for the Ascension demon because that guy was also, you know, just so chill and just had a little life, was doing stuff. Like, he wasn't hurting anyone. But of course, like, Faith killed him, which is why that felt like an actual death. Like oh, she should not have done that. Like, I know that's a demon, but that was also someone with a life. So it's just like, I don't know. It feels different to kill this guy for Angel. Um, am I making sense? I hope so. I just think they should be trying to find different ways because it feels wrong, especially because Doyle is also half a demon. So it's like, huh, if they so cool about killing demons maybe they're just gonna be killing Doyle at one point because like ah that's a half demon that's good enough like I, I don't know you know what I mean speaking of Doyle I'm very excited to see more about his backstory and learn more about him he's like the only character we don't actually know much about like we've seen Cordelia and Angel for three seasons on Buffy so we're very familiar with their backgrounds and their personalities and their wants and needs but we don't know much about Doyle so I'm excited that we get to see more into his life and figure more out about him. I also hope we get to meet his parents at some point or maybe, I think his dad is the demon, right? Or was it the mom? I can't remember. But I hope we get to meet the demon part because I think that would be very interesting. I also don't know how long they're gonna be dragging out this secret between Doyle and Cordelia. Like, I think it's only episode five. I think it's because I'm watching this and Buffy at the same time, it feels like I should be like 10 episodes into the show already, but I'm only just five episodes into it. So I feel like, to me, it feels like the secret has been going on for forever, but it actually hasn't been that long, but I still hope that he's gonna tell her soon. It was also nice to see Kate again. I didn't think we were gonna get anything with her because we were just dealing with the Doyle situation and Cordelia situation. So I figured that she's not gonna be a part of the episode, but it was really nice to see her. So I think they are trying to bring her into the show. A little bit more which is really fun i caught her look when angel leaned super close to her what to look at the computer like she was you know just doing a little like that kind of a look so i think she's 
into Angel. So I think that could be really cute. Like maybe they could become a thing at some point and then Angel could also move on from Buffy and maybe bring Kate into this supernatural world. I do really enjoy her and I hope that she gets to do more in the future as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and a huge shout out to all my patrons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone.